Yesterday's parliament sitting and subsequent vote for the Governor-General by our parliament leaders made history for Grand Chief Sir Bob Dodai with over half voting for the incumbent. Looking fresh and speaking to the media this morning, the Grand Chief Sir Bob Dodai expressed his appreciation to be given the mandate to serve the Vice Regal Post for a second time. As a Christian, I want to acknowledge God for uh, for the addition that was made by our leaders, members of parliament. Secondly, I want to say thank you to Marape Rosso government. Um, they have seen it. Uh, they, they, they saw that, uh, saw the confidence um, of the work that I do here at the government house. Looking ahead in his second tenure, Sir Bob Darai made it known that there was still unfinished business to be completed. Uh, we, we ensured that uh, we fix up the staff houses, construct new, new ones for those who are still living outside to come to work here. And uh, uh, there are still some uh, new buildings going up now, as we speak. Defencing is a very important uh, uh, thing that we did. The government house uh, uh, is, 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 a, is an entity that um, is the highest in the land. The Vice Regal paid the ultimate tribute to the former UK ambassador Winnie Kiap and lawyer Stephen Pokowin. Express my appreciation uh, to my uh, uh, two good friends who, who provide that challenge. They are very qualified uh, professionals, uh, leaders in their own rights, with um, a distinguished uh, career. Uh, Winnie Cab uh, held a number of important positions, top positions in the land. She was the secretary for National Executive Council, and then later became the high commissioner uh, to. Uh, Grand Chief Sir Bob Darai's first term as Governor General expires next month on February the 20th, 2023. Uh, the the Prime Minister James Marape will now inform King Charles III on the re-election of Sir Bob Darai. After which the King accepts his re-election, Sir Darai will then be invited back to Buckingham Palace where he will officially be sworn in. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.